welcome to another episode of Magic 3D Printing. Uh, we're going to be doing another review today, and today it's going to be on Taiwanese filament. The, uh, as you can see, the packaging uh, is really nice. Uh, I really like a company that uh, takes a lot of pride in the product and the way that it's presented to the public. And so the way that they've packaged this uh, filament is, uh, is really nice. Um, the, 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 it comes in 15 different colors. Uh, and basically is uh, at a 0 0.03 uh, tolerance like a lot of the better filaments are these days. Um, the spool, is, as you can see, is a closed spool. Uh, personally, I really prefer an open spool. It makes it a little bit easier to see exactly how much filament you do have left. Uh, they do place a small hole closer into the hub of the uh, filament so you can see when you're getting closer. But again, a, a closed spool really is a lot nicer. Um, the uh, label on the filament is a typical label, uh, tells the type of material, the printing temperatures, that sort of thing. Uh, one thing that it doesn't have that I really like is the label of the company um, or the name of the company. If you've got the name of the company on the spool and you're like me, I keep a lot of my filament in uh, the uh, tubs, airtight tubs with desiccant in them. And uh, that way basically you don't have to worry about uh, the, the moisture getting into the filament. So I do have a marker and I spend a lot of time marking my labels with the name of the company so I can remember uh, where the filament came from, especially if I happen to like a particular type of filament. Um, it's very nicely sealed with desiccant inside and so uh, you know some of the companies I see with the stuff come in and the bags are sealed but they're a little sloppy. But these are nice and tight which I like. Uh, the windings are nice and clean if you can see that. Um, so you don't have to worry about crossovers or snags or anything during the, uh, during the print. Um, all of the printing I did with the uh, tie and save filament uh, really came out nice and clean. The, the layers bonded well, uh, there was very good adhesion. Um, basically we printed at uh, 210 degrees on the uh, nozzle and 60 degrees on the bed. So uh, that's it. Let's get to the, uh, the models we printed and uh, see how they came out. Okay guys, let's take a look at the pieces that we've printed. This first piece was done in gold PLA uh, by Tai and Say. And uh, as you can see, it's not your typical Benchy. This piece is called the Old Paddle Wheel Steamboat by Dragon, Van Dragon DE on Thingiverse. Um, I really love this piece. This piece has so much detail compared to a standard Benchy. Uh, the overhangs, the details, uh, just absolutely amazing. I hope you can catch all the, the detail in this piece. Uh, it really came up beautiful and being a Benchy, it doesn't have any supports. So uh, I gotta say this piece came out really well. The only exception would be if you watch, see this online, you're gonna see some little tiny stacks on top of these pieces here. And being the klutz that I am, I dropped this piece and broke one of them. So I, I did clip these off just to make it look clean. So that's a nice first piece. The, uh, the second piece that we've uh, printed was, uh, was this piece here. This is the Chinese God of Wealth. I thought it would be appropriate that we do some Chinese pieces considering the fact that our filament's made in China. Uh, this was done by Strong Hero on Thingiverse. This is the uh, Taiyan Se Purple. Uh, this is 100% scale, uh, 0.12 layer height uh, with 0% infill. Of course, it used supports, but I've, which I've cleaned up. Um, when I say 0% infill, I also didn't print any bottom layers. So you're going to see that this it really, really is zero infill. Um, this came out very nicely. Uh, very, it's a nice shiny material, uh, very nice layer adhesion, very clean bonding between all the layers. All the detail came out really, really nice. The, uh, the next piece that I want to show you is something new that was just uh, done by Blue Curtain on Thingiverse. And that's a, a practical piece which he refers to as a bed stand. I know a lot of you guys go out like I did and buy a, like a six pack of uh, mirrors for your printer. And uh, you want to be, maybe keep those additional sheets of uh, glass handy. Uh, personally, I, like to, I use Magic Goo and I like to keep the additional sheets handy when I would swap a piece out between prints. Well, this is a chance to do just that. Uh, this will, I printed this with 50% infill, so it was nice and heavy. It's 100% scale, of course, uh, and even embossed with the dragon, if you can see that. Uh, so this piece was uh, um, 
was done with no supports. And I, I wondered for a while what it would be like to do a color change on a piece. So I did just that. This is the same exact piece uh, done in Simplify 3D using the uh, ability to change colors mid-print. So it came out really, really nicely. Again, the layers are clean. Uh, the bonding is nice. Uh, really, really like this piece. And this is going to be a piece that I'm going to use personally to, uh, to basically stack my uh, sheets of mirror next to the uh, printer for uh, use later on. And then the, uh, the last piece that we did is called Guan Yin. This is the uh, Goddess of Compassion, again a uh, Chinese piece. This was done by uh, Clave and Mu on Thingiverse. Uh, this was actually only done at an 80% scale because this piece was enormous. And uh, again, I, what can I say about the, the, the layers and everything? Very smooth, very clean. This was also done at a 0% infill at a 0.12 layer height. And uh, this actually had uh, some supports that were cleaned up. But uh, again, uh, I, I use Simplify 3D, so uh, obviously the supports are not an issue. Uh, there was really no cleanup after removing the supports. So uh, really nice uh, filament. Uh, I, can, I can say uh, myself that I will certainly purchase more because the, the, it's a great value for the price. So uh, the links for all of the uh, models and the filaments that I've used will be uh, down below the video. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Also ring that bell for additional uh, videos coming up in the future. And just as a uh, side note, the uh, next video that we do is going to be sort of a Mythbusters. Uh, all of those CR10 upgrades that you do, do they really work? Do they really improve the quality of your print? Well, st stick around and you're going to find out in the next video on Magic 3D Printing. Oh,